This video is how to do a modified box plot in Excel. It is a quick example. In the previous example, we went ahead and looked at Jane and how many customers Jane had helped at the restaurant every half an hour that she was on the shift. In this example, we're going to look at Betty. So we're going to go say that for every half an hour that Betty worked and the number of customers she had helped, we need to know the minimum. So equals minimum with our data range. We're going to need to know quartile 1. So quartile, if you'll notice here, I'm using um, Excel 2010. There's quartile.exe.inc and um, quartile because I know some of my students do not have Excel 2010 yet. We're going to just use equals quartile. So put in our data range, comma 1 equals median and our data range, and we have 7 equals quartile, our data range comma 3 because it's quartile 3, and our maximum with our data. So our data in our box plot should go from 2 to 15, that'll contain all 100% of our data. Our boxes will go between 4 and 7 and 7 and 9. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a box, a stacked bar chart, and so those will be the boxes. So we need equals quartile 1 minus 0. I know that's the same as quartile 1, but just for the sake of example. So equals median minus quartile 1, so 7 minus 4 is 3, equals quartile 3 minus the median which is 2. When we add all of these up, it should equal the value of quartile 3. So 4 plus 3 plus 2 totaled is 9. So our data is looking correct. Now our error bars, which are our lines that are going to be on both sides of the graph. Again, remember, they're truly not error bars. It's just the function we're using in Excel to make them happen. So equals quartile 1 minus the minimum. Your top bar is going to be equals maximum minus quartile 3. So your bottom bar is going to be, or line, is going to be a distance of 2, and your top is going to be a distance of 6. So let's go ahead and graph this. We'll put Betty here as the title on it. We'll put our title and our data. We'll do insert bar stacked bar. Not looking like we want it to, so we need to switch rows and columns. Here is our middle 50%. We want to get rid of the blue box, so you can right-click, do Format Data Series, do No Fill and No Line. And so that was Fill, No Fill, Border Color, No Line. We have now have our top 50% or middle 50% graphed. We just need the lines to go with it. So if you click on Layout and do Error Bars, click on More Error Bars, you'll see that it does pr produce an error bar, but we want it to be our minus. That's looking better. And we want it to be a fixed value, in this case, of 2. So a fixed value of 2. And let's go ahead and then click Close. Let's do our top one. So we're going to click on the green box, do more error bars. We're going to do the plus side of it. So if we look over here, our green box on a plus, is going to be a fixed value of, in this case, 6. Our upper line is 6. So our values go between 2 and 15, with our middle 50% of values going between 4 and 9, with a median of 7. So to clean this up, we'll want to take this piece out. We'll probably want to put a title on the top of this. So let's go ahead and put a title. And so this was number of customers per half hour. And we now have our box plot for Betty. Hope that helps.